know why I joined your team, Roger? Why did you join my team, Kara? Because of the positivity and the structure of how you wanted to run your company. Mm -hmm. Did you remember in the beginning how, like, well, aggressive I was when you were, like, talking to my clients? And I was like, why are you talking to my clients, Roger? I do remember that. And then you were like, Kiara, I'm on your side. Yeah. And then I was just like, I had to literally like train myself to get out of this train of thought I where remember. I do remember that the industry is a cutthroat industry. But I think there is an interesting Kamanian style that can come across as aggressive that actually isn't aggressive. And that's one of the interesting lessons I've had to learn on the island in terms of how different people approach and deal, deal with things differently and it isn't a bad thing it's just a different thing mm -hmm. so welcome to my realtor with Kiara McLaughlin and Roger Southam your property experts now welcome back so it's interesting because on the island we've got 192 different nationalities I might be more by now for goodness sake but 192 so there's an awful lot of different styles there's an awful lot of different approaches and um, how someone deals with something can come across as dismissive, can come across as rude, can come across as arrogant, can come across as, as a whole raft of different things. Mm -hmm. But actually there's no edge to it, there's no um, side to it, there's no nothing meant by it, it's just different nationalities, having different styles, having different approaches. But what is service for one person is a whole different style for someone else. So, um, you know, the kind of traditional American model of have a nice day and how can I help you and going above and beyond isn't necessarily what translates here. Mm. And it's um, absolutely fascinating. So, um, you know, you could put two people in a situation and both could give you service, but how it's received could be from here to, to, to over there in terms of the approach. And it is, it is absolutely extraordinary. Um, so some of the some of the hotels have got um, and quite rightly now commanding and staff, but their measure of service, they don't think they're giving bad service, but it's not the same measure. I've just been to um, FedEx to pick up a package, and the girl is having a conversation with her boss on the phone about what day she's been sick and what day she's on holiday, and I'm expecting to pick up my package and be served and be greeted and treated and look nice and nicely. No, they don't think they've looked after me badly. Mm -hmm. But do I feel like I had service? No, I feel like writing to the guy, in, uh, I know in FedEx, and saying, seriously, come on, you guys need to sharpen up. But why? That's the, they, They've done what they do, and I've got the package, and I've paid the right money, so what's the problem? Yeah. I mean, I've had similar experience with people that are not Caymanians, and I was raised to, when you walk into a room, you say, good morning, you greet people, how are, you know, just good morning, just have manners in general. And then I have it, like, in a meeting, and people just walking, make eye contact with me, and they don't say anything, and I think in my head, well, they have no effing manners. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, um, yeah but like you say, you have 192 But the important thing about this... Here, so is actually understanding who your audience is and um, working with them. So we're renting an apartment at the moment and we've had wide cross-section of um, different nationalities coming in to see the property and how they, what time they turn up for the appointment is a start, but then what they're looking for, what they're wanting, what they, um, how they expect to be looked after, how they expect to be greeted, how they, what information. Wow. Oh my God, over, let me tell you, if I ever tell you like the things that I've dealt with with people in rentals, I cannot even, I, I rent, I'm currently renting. Right. And my fridge was leaking for two weeks and it didn't get changed after two weeks. And this is a whole property management company that's running this complex. And I get shit if I don't respond in a day. Yeah. And I'm like, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but, but I always, I've always felt bad if you don't get back to people quickly. Yeah. I think that's the minimum that you've got to do. And generally, the more responsive you are, well, it's, it's two sides to it. The more responsive you are, the more people expect you to respond quickly. Yeah. The nice people, 
actually are grateful for the quick responses and we've got um, we've, well, we're running Airbnbs and short lets as well as long-term rentals as well as strata management and we'll talk more about that in a second but um, the nice people always come back and say oh thank you for the quick response that was really sweet thank you so much for coming back quickly but you know what's the difference between us and everyone else go on we care oh we do care and we do care it doesn't matter how much we're progressing in sales how much properties we're getting we're always going to have the same approach absolutely and the weird thing is it's that caring that actually kind of um, cuts in because we take it personally and we had an Airbnb guest who had a problem with immigration and had to leave the island. Now, if she had have said to Airbnb, oh, I need to cancel the booking because I've got a problem with immigration, she wouldn't have got a refund. So what does she do? She lies. She makes up that the apartment wasn't good, that there were smells. Now, she had some allergies, okay. But she made up there were smells, there was this, there was that. Airbnb didn't seem to take a right of reply from us in terms of questioning it. Now, I took that so personally I carried on at Airbnb for the next three days to make sure that our client's reputation and stating, standing in the, on the site wasn't going to be affected. I let them know and could prove that she had lied about the circumstances and the situation. And they turned around and went, look, we're really sorry, but we've had to go with what she said. And it's, you know, people are out there willing to do that. You know, I, I just think everybody should just get on and do what they do, but I guess she wanted to save the other nine days and that's the only way she could do it. But um, it's a weird world out there. You'd be surprised what people will do for some money. Oh, absolutely. You'd be surprised. Absolutely. And it's, yeah. greed is something. Yeah. Greed Big is time. something. Big time. But you know, we're here to just share some positivity absolutely. and keep it going. And and the Airbnbs are going going good. So where oh, we... Oh yeah, we're having bookings like... I know. Great. It's non-stop. Uh, Poor yeah. Katie. She's uh, but, like... <laughs> but where, where we're, um, again, trying to make a difference is the service level we're actually offering to the Airbnb guests is going way above and beyond. Yeah, but we can't share that with you because we don't want no one to steal our ideas. No, um, but all they've got to do is actually book through us. So book, uh, book one of our units and then you'll find out what we do. Yeah, um, that's true. Um, Pay the money first and then you'll see how, you how, we, you how we do business. But any clients out there or potential clients out there we could be doing you a great service on your airbnbs literally one of a kind the way that we all kind of just brainstorm mm -hmm. and the ideas that katie katie's came up with to yeah. for the airbnbs is just personal touches yeah absolutely and when i travel i use airbnb all the time mainly yeah mainly airbnbs and nothing compared to yeah. what I see, yeah. what we're doing here. Yeah, so it truly makes a difference. My daughter worked on super yachts, so we brought some of that bit in. Yeah. We brought um, up all our concierge What's her service skills. Emma. Shout out to Shout Emma out for to teaching Emma. us the little fancy stuff with the yeah, towels absolutely. and yeah. everything. Um, so, yeah, so we're doing that. We're doing um, concierge service for, for a couple of clients on Ireland where their guests coming in or their workers coming into Ireland mm -hmm. will look after them from start to finish. And that's ramping up because we're now um, doing almost a full suite of service to the point the next people coming in at the end of this month, mm -hmm. we are running <coughs> everything for them from them being able to just turn up at a petrol station and fill up their car without having to pay for it to um, the car hire we're organized, to their phones we're organizing, to the so apartments we're all the little, deta little details, you know. Um, we do have a management team for that. Um, yeah. I mean, all, obviously we all work as a team and as one, um, but we do have each agent is in their own tasks, you know, trying to complete. So I mainly focus on sales and, and I, I happen to bring yeah. some good property you management yeah, business in yeah. for the yeah. team to manage. Yeah. So yeah, it's going so good. It's good. Another great reason to always choose my realtor powered by Caribbean MGT is we like to keep the positivity going. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's always going to be roadblocks and things that come up. Every, anything can happen in real estate. I mean, I've been in this industry six years and, and I'm pretty sure I've not seen it all, but I've seen a lot of things happen. And I think our team just have a good, uh, how you say, aura of just keeping positive, yeah. working towards the goal and wanting to get it done. And that's why you should always work with my realtor. It's not about the low commission fees. 
um, because we do bring value. A lot of people would say, oh, you pay for cheap coffee and it tastes mm -hmm. bad. That's because you pay for cheap coffee. No, it's because we like to put service above the commission. If we bring in the amount of business, we won't struggle in terms of cash flow. See, the way I would look at it, it's value for money. You don't need to go and pay three grand for a night at the Ritz when you can get very good service at a one bed apartment through Airbnb. Correct. So it's the same with all the service levels. It's about giving the best service. But I'm talking about sales in no, no, terms. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I'm talking about thing. sales so in terms. So with across. sales, we still have the same experiences. <clears throat> for crying out loud, Roger has 46, 47 years experience. I have six. Alicia has, what, eight, 10 yep. years. Um, so we have the experience. It's just, I've worked with Sariba a long time and all of my clients said the same thing to me while I was with Sariba. I really want to work with you, but you know, that's 7%, you know, and it's just, so which I completely understood. So why not provide the same service or above and beyond for the same service? for less Absolutely. and you'll be extremely happy because not only will you have room for negotiation um, in the price point, you get more money, you get amazing service and you get to be in our TikToks. Exactly. You get to in be our in our TikToks. TikToks. And people are loving it. And no, I mean, I'm sorry, there are people, no shade, there are people out there doing TikToks, but I mean, Roger, we killing it. But the amount of people we who will it. come up and say, oh, I recognize you just from the TikTok. And Kiara is killing it. And the amount of people who will say, oh, Kiara is just awesome. Yeah, I, I appreciate, is. we appreciate everyone that loves our TikToks, you know. Yeah. Yeah, That's because, fun. but it's funny because the company that I was at before met, said to me that people won't take me seriously if I did TikToks. Oh, really? Yeah. No, you see, but it's about That's personality. It it's about getting a, you know, you're in a small community. You've got to get that personality yeah. across. You've got to convey who you are, what you are, and it comes back to the simple sentence we have of, we say what we do, and, and we, we do. do as we say. There we go. Yeah. So, remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, feedback, and then next issue, we're gonna be talking more about some of the properties, we'll pick up more on the customer service side, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got a meeting today, We've got some more um, short lets, Airbnbs coming through, and that's going to be super exciting. Plus, some land deals we'll be able to report on. Nice. I have yeah. some new listings coming up as well. Super. So, I'm um, going to take photos actually this weekend, hopefully, by the next podcast. John will have them up and running for you guys to see. You know? Awesome. Oh, and also, next time, I want to touch base on some comments that I received on our last podcast. Okay. Um, I think it was the, what are we? This is, this is for the middle, no, this is for the beginning of April um, in regards to the last comment about our agents, our agents looking out for their listings, for their sellers. That's what oh, it's right, yes. So I got some interesting comments on that from some buyers, some other agents who kind of shared the same experience with me, but we'll talk, we'll talk about that next episode, so stay tuned. Right, so enjoy the next two weeks. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Subscribe, like. We love you guys. Stay positive and stay consistent, guys. And we're out of here. Yeah. <clears throat>